Paddling TV is brought to you by Appomattox River Company, the largest canoe and kayak specialty store in the country. We ship anywhere. Call us at 1-800-442-4837 or visit us online at paddleva.com. When paddling with a group, there are a number of things to keep in mind. The biggest issue is communication within a group. In high winds or rough seas, you can't expect your voice to reach everyone. This is where paddle signals and whistles come in really handy. You can use whistle blows to catch attention or communicate any emergencies. A single whistle blast is used just to catch someone's attention, while three blasts are commonly used to indicate an emergency. There are also some standard paddle signals that everyone in your group should know. The most common being stop, which involves holding the paddle horizontally in the air, and go ahead with the paddle vertical in the air. Any other paddle signals should be discussed amongst the group before heading out. In rough seas or when visibility isn't great, you want some way of keeping track of all paddlers. A buddy system is always a good idea, where two paddlers keep track of each other. But with larger groups, you might want to establish a lead paddler and then a sweep paddler who brings up the rear. These should be the two strongest paddlers in a group, and they're responsible for keeping everyone between them. You can also have these two paddlers on the inside and outside of a group. However you're traveling as a group, always remember that your group is only as strong as your weakest paddler. 